silly o'clock in the morning, the sun is already up and I'm on my way to London to go to uni. It's going to be a good day. I just hope it's not going to be a very cold day. <laughs> because it's been a very cold start to the day. Look at that. lunch break at uni just popped down to see St Paul's Cathedral because I never really come down uh, this area of the city at all when I'm up here with the family normally so um, a bit nice to see some different sights very impressive very cold as well very cold You can add other questions, um, say particularly pertinent to the context you're in, because you may, there may be a particular trigger why you're doing an appreciative inquiry. So there may be specific things that you want to ask. You just need to think a little bit how you phrase the questions so that they fit the ethos of the approach. So, via the uh magic of television so to speak or the magic of YouTube it's now the end of the day well it's not even the end of the day it's just half five but I've already done my train ride home and I'm just walking to pick up my car um, that's the downside of this time of year isn't it as soon as the year are full all of a sudden the sun decides to set and uh, looks like midnight Nothing of the sort. Here's the car. There we go. Much better. Woo! Not as cold in here. It's just while I wait for the car to warm up, I thought I'd tell you a tiny bit about my day. Uh, so just got back from uni, just uh, in the car waiting to drive home uh, it's back off the train that is obviously I'm clearly not back home yet um, we've been talking about change and the leadership process in times of change and um, been looking at different change models and um, mechanisms to help you cope with change the difference between change and transition and often people are resistant to change because they're not uh, helped with their own internal transition from the old to the new. Very interesting, really helpful, and actually helpful for me in terms of explaining perhaps even some things that I've lived through. Uh, it's always been good to, to challenge what you believe and challenge what you think. And on, on any position really, it's healthy. Um, there's a guy called Brendan Manning and he wrote a book called The Ragabuffin Gospel and he was a massive influence on people like uh, Rich Mullins and um, he has a wonderful little pithy expression which I find helps me a lot. Never allow yourself the luxury of an unexamined faith. Never allow yourself the luxury of an unexamined faith. How true. Now as a youth worker, that comes pretty easy to me. People question what I believe and why I believe it all the time, every day. That's my job. People give me grief for it at times, you know. Um, but how often do we just believe what we believe because we believe it? We don't stop and think why and we don't stop and question, is that the right thing to do? That's all part of our internal transition as we go through life and change. 
um, letting go of the old and embracing the new, I think a really healthy part of that is questioning what we believe. It's great to know why you believe something, not just that you believe it. It's also great to go home, see the kids, see the wife and go to bed. I'm going to do all of that. Have a very, very good week. See you next Thursday, if not before. Uh, don't forget, there's like 20 plus of these videos now. If you want to go and have a look at them, uh, there's a link in the uh, description. You can go and find the other videos that I've done. Uh, you can subscribe for free, comment on the video from today or leave a comment saying, Dave, why haven't you made a video about X, Y or Z? Uh, knock yourself out, that'd be great fun. Otherwise, like, share, do what you want. And uh, most importantly, see you next week. Ciao for now.